As you guys heard the news today, uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank Steve and Leela and the entire Nash family for uh, their commitment, their sacrifice, uh, friendship, and everything they've done, not only for the for the Nets organization, but for the for the borough of Brooklyn. I think you guys all know that um, Steve and I have a very close relationship. We will continue to have a very close relationship. Uh, it dates back more than 20 years. Uh, that has that relationship has made this a, a very difficult decision. Um, but at the same time, it's it's made it a, uh, a one that I could come to, or we could come to together. Um, with an understanding, an honest understanding, appreciation for each other and, and where we stand. So um, we both felt this was, this was time. Uh, it was certainly trending in that way. And to be quite frank, the team was, uh, was not doing what it was supposed to be doing. You know, we, we have we've fallen um, from our goals, of meeting our goals. And it was, it was time now because we still have uh, lofty aspirations of where we need to get to. So... Um, with that said, we wish again. We wish Steve and Leela all the best and commend him for for everything he's done. And I, I will um, also state that just his humility and his leadership throughout his entire time has been something that we've all learned from. You know, his fingerprints will be all over this organization for for many many years to come. So you know, I, I thank him uh, and his whole family for that. So. Sean, considering that long-standing relationship, uh, how much? input did you solicit from the players particularly your stars like kevin and kyrie in making this decision and what changed i guess from in seven games from training camp to now yeah um uh zero there was zero input from from any of the players on this i think this was a decision that uh we didn't need that um steve and i didn't need that um obviously I, i've talked to joe about this but um the players were not consulted they were they were told ahead of time that this was the direction we were going to today but um i, I don't think we needed that uh, you know that that input right now um what changed i thought i thought our coaching staff i mentioned you know media day our coaching staff had done a hell of a job and continue to do a heck of a job um getting this group ready and, and preparing throughout the summer the sweat equity was was the best i've seen to be quite frank now it just it wasn't uh panning out on the court and whether it was um uh, you know, a, a voice in the locker room, a change needed. Um, you know, I can list the distractions, you know, and I don't want to get in there because I think I know I know how competitive Steve is. And I think if I sat here and listed one by one all the things that he had to go through over his tenure here, I'd be doing him a disservice because he doesn't want an excuse. That's, that's not who he is. So um, he has certainly not had um, an even playing field, you know, over, over two, and, two and a bit years here. And, and for that, you know, I, I certainly feel um, definitely some responsibility because this does not fall, not, does not fall on him. I mean, I take a, a great deal of responsibility in, you know, in creating the roster, hiring staff, bringing people in, um, whether that's free agency or draft and what have you. So it's completely unfair to state the, the fact of where we are as a team, as an organization, purely on Steve. Sean, you talked about it being a mutual decision. Did one bring the idea to the other at first? And just how long have these conversations been going on leading up to today? You know, I think that was probably the unique thing. The unique thing with Steve and I is, is we had we talked daily, if not hourly, you know, on, on a variety of different topics, uh, subjects all, all the time. Uh, enjoyed the conversations. I learned a ton from him. You know, he's an incredibly intelligent man uh, and has a great feel and a great poise. You know, his character is impeccable. Um, so, you know, when we're having these conversations, he, he's aware of, hey, they're not responding to me right now or, you know, that was not the performance I needed to see out there and, and so forth. So we were open uh, with our dialogue, uh, always have been, uh, and so so, you know, over the course of, you know, the last week, 10 days, we've just been talking and talking, and I think it, it, it came to a head. Sean, there are multiple media reports that you've already determined who your next head coach is. Have you? No, absolutely not. No. What, what are expectations that you will be looking for in a replacement that you did not get in the first couple of weeks of this season? 
You know, I, I think when I look at the, the, the group of guys out there, I'd love to see them competing at the highest level. I mean, we, we saw games this year where, I, I'll be honest, I don't think we brought it, you know, and I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You know, there were times where whether it was a quarter was taken off, you know, a half was taken off, a game was taken off. We, you know, we didn't compete. Uh, and it's not just the players. I think it's all of us. I, I talk about being a competitive organization, a competitive environment. That falls on, on, on all of us, and we've all got to bring that. So... You know, the, the candidates that we're looking for are going to be bringing that, uh, that's going to be one of their attributes, competitive and having a voice and being able to hold guys accountable, the same things we've mentioned, you know, over the, over the course of the last year, a few years, that, that that's what we want to do. The franchise has long preached the importance of culture and accountability. When you are making the decision, the decision about your new head coach, how much will you factor in those things? Uh, whenever you're bringing anybody in here, you know, it, it doesn't matter if it's if it's a new head coach or whether it's an intern. It doesn't matter. You, you're doing your due diligence on on everybody's background. You're you're looking at past relationships, prior relationships, current relationships. You name it, to make sure that you're bringing in the right people at the right time for the right job. Hey, Sean. Um, there are a lot of people, us included, have said you've sent it in already on Ime Udoka. Uh, are you comfortable that he could be a candidate for you? And just given what happened, you know, less than a couple months ago, that he would be accepted here if you go that route? Yeah, look, I really don't think it's... Uh up to me right now to give you know give a list of candidates who we're talking to and 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 where we're going to arise and where we're going to fall on this but i i would say i, I will reserve that for um when those decisions are made and, and you know i couldn't give you a timeline of that like you know obviously um, there's a reason why we made this move when we did, because time is ticking. So we, we do want this process to be a thorough one. Uh, we're not going to skip steps in that, and we'll do our due diligence like on anybody. Like you know, when I was hired, when anybody was hired here, you know, the, the organization does, you know, very very thorough due diligence on anybody, and and you uh, you arise at the best possible outcome. What do you say to fans right now who don't want to cheer for the team, given the way the organization? has handled a variety of different issues, including the Kyrie situation the last few days? Look, it, it's understandable, you know. Um, I, I'm completely empathetic to what's going on here. I'm, I'm certainly not proud of the situation we find ourselves in, you know. Um, I, I would like to turn, you know, ESPN or the TV on and not find you talking about us, you know, in, in that manner, to be quite frank. You know, I'd like to get back to basketball. I think that's what our players would like to get back to. They'd like to focus on the things that are important here, and and that's competing at the highest level and uh, and, and playing basketball games. So, um, you know, as it pertains to Kyrie, I mean, we are having discussions, like it's, it's been mentioned, you know, um, some internal, some external discussions. You know, I, I know from the highest levels, you know, we are involved with the ADL and getting, um, and getting their advice, and 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 just hopefully um, they can advise us. We can bring something to the table that both parties, all parties, can be uh, at least understandable to one another here, and and understand that um, there is no tolerance and no room for any hate speech, any anti-Semitic remarks whatsoever, whether it's in this organization or um, or any organization for that matter. Um, understand there, there is precedent in the league for players being fined or punished for um, hate speech. Um, why haven't you guys disciplined Kyrie? You know, I, I think we are having these discussions behind the scenes. I, I honestly don't want to really get into those right now. We've, we're taking the advice, as I mentioned before. We, you know, we are talking to the ADL right now. Um, we're, that's on the, on the Joe Psy level, our CEO and myself and, and, and a group, and really just trying to weigh up uh, exactly what the best course of action is here. Um, part of it is going to be getting the sides together so they can understand, you know, where people are coming from. It's there's an education piece for for everybody here. There's, as I've mentioned before, there's an empathetic piece to this and an understanding that, um, you know, we need to move on and we need to do the right thing without a doubt. Sean, does the organization still have faith that this can be a championship season? 
Well, I think we would not have made moves like this at this juncture um, if we didn't think, you know, I, I saw some of you guys saying, you know, they're trying to salvage the team. You can use whatever sort of buzzword you want to use. But at the end of the day, my job here is to put this, this team, this organization, in the best possible place to succeed, not only now, but long term. Um, you know, we don't want to skip steps. We want to fast track it here. But we do realize, as I've made, I'm going to be honest, we, we have a window here. And when we have these... This group of players and and this salary cap and and, and where we are, we, we hope to achieve that, you know. And and I think we've all seen what's happened over the course of the last few years. There's been plenty of teams that at one point, you know, look a certain way and make some moves and then change. And and that's you know, we hope to rise. Uh, we hope to be one of those teams. And we have to, you know, by arising at the decision we will in the next few days, hopefully, um, that'll be a catalyst for a turnaround. Sean, Coach Vaughn is going to be the next, he's going to be the interim head coach. I know he's been in this situation before. Can you just describe what you see in him and why he's the, the best choice to kind of move this team forward? You know, JV and I are very close. I admire him immensely. You know, he has, uh, as, you, as you mentioned, you know, um, he directed us in the bubble. And uh, he, he's one of the most stand-up men I've ever been around. Um, so it's honestly, it's, it's an easy choice for him to step into that seat right now. And, uh, and, and I, and I commend him for it. You know, not, it's not an easy, not an easy day for that coaching staff because I, I can attest to the work that they've done. And, and we've got, we've got a great group of guys in there that have really worked extremely, extremely hard. And, and, you know, when they see that, you know, their leader isn't there for them right now tonight, that'll be, you know, they'll have to rally together and we'll support them and we'll do everything we possibly can for them to go out there and, and, and give it their all. And I know they will. Uh, two things quick. Did the events of the last few days have anything to do with what happened today? You, you, of, did, did, did any of the events of the past few days lead up to the decision by you or Steve to decide to part ways today? Are you specifically referring to Kai? Yeah. Uh, no, no. There's the, these are, we try and separate the two things. You know, I mean, I, I think that's a good question, and it's, it's, uh, you know, it's easy to sort of lump it all in, but I think for where we're at, we're trying to separate you know, the basketball side of things and what's best for this team moving on and address that. And then, let's, uh, uh, again, not to sugarcoat it, we need to address, you know, the other pieces to not only this, um, the organization, but just honestly, how can we be a catalyst for what's going on in the world? How can we help here? How, you know, how can we, whether it's through education, um, you know, or whatever we're doing, but I, I think there's a piece to piece to that that hopefully the Brooklyn Nets can be and BSC Global can be a part of. And understanding that Joe is working with the ADL, I know he has a prior relationship with them also. Um, why was it decided that in the light of that, it makes sense for Kyrie to continue to be playing and around the team right now while that is going on? Like, why not have him take a break or be a step away or something as opposed to the path you guys have taken? You know, I, I think, you know, we've, we've tried to do a little bit of both, to be honest, like by keeping him, uh, you know, he did not do media last night. He's not going to do media tonight. And you know, at some point he will come up here and, and, and do media again. But I think at this point it's, it's you know, we, we don't want to cause... Um, uh, you know, more fuss right now, more interaction with people, like let's let him simmer down and let's let this whole, uh, I guess let's the cooler minds prevail. And I think we need to go out and become, you know, educate ourselves, educate the whole group and, and get some direction, seek from the experts, you know, and, and the experts is, you know, one of them is certainly the ADL. Hey, Sean, two things. Um, the conversations with the ADL, is Kyrie taking part in those? Uh, I don't want to get into who and how and when these conversations are happening. They're ongoing. I, I think at the right point and the right time. I mean, you know, Kai can, Kai can uh, address these for himself and uh, and, our, and our group will as well. And the reason he won't be talking to us tonight, you said so there's no fuss. Is that because it's a distraction for basketball wise? Is that because he doesn't want to answer more questions about this? issue? I think everybody knows he's going to have to answer these questions at some point and he's going to have to um, you know, and he, he hasn't sort of shied away in the past but I think the last uh, you know post game meeting you know didn't go well and, and you know I think we're not trying to you know cover it up I think this is something that needs to be addressed but let's address it in the right form and fashion when that is you know we'll, we'll let you guys know. Last one. 
Hey, Sean, during the offseason, KD had mentioned that the reason why he was uncertain about staying in Brooklyn is because of the uncertainty, and he wanted to make sure that he was in a stable culture that's building towards a championship future. Are you afraid of how things will play out for a new head coach that this could jeopardize on his feelings of staying here? You know, I think we have to factor all of these things in. I mean, it's, it's certainly not an easy decision to, to to get to this particular juncture right now. And when we when we make the decisions to uh, on, on who we will hire, I think we have to look at it like what's best for us now, but also long term. I mean, what's going to be best for this organization long term from um, where we find ourselves in a year from now, two years from now, three years and down the road? And who, who can help steer that ship for sure? Thanks, Sean. Thank you, guys.